Hi, welcome back. Sterling C. Sample here. Island Music Steel Drums, the Steel Drum Training Center of America, or the World Steel Drum Training Center. You can learn this instrument any part of the world. This is this is the intermediate class. This is the advanced class I'm teaching here right now. And I want you to be able to play every chord there is in music. I want you to be able to learn every chord for yourself. You'll be able to hear any song and play it. Okay, guys? Any song you can hear and play it. Okay, so let's go. Let's dive into this thing again. Let's dive into our, our, our scales again. The last time I taught you how to find a C major scale. Remember, oh, why, won't he, why won't he wear white when hot? A half notes. You learn chromatics. You learn how to, how to find your chromatic scale. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. You learn how to find your chromatic scale. Then you learn how to find your major scale. You learn how to find your C major scale. You say C to D with a half note, whole note. Whole note, whole note, half a note. Whole note, whole note, whole note, half a note. Right, we reach up to G. Now, when you go to the G, you take the same C major scale, you start from G, and you do the same thing, whole note, whole note, whole note, half a note, whole note, whole note, whole note, whole note, half a note, whole note, whole note, whole note, half a note. So let's go to the next, the next chord I want you to learn, the next scale, C major scale I want you to learn is D. If you're advanced, you're supposed to know, learn your stuff by now. So let's, I'm, I'm going to just take you through and make sure you get it right this time, okay? Now you're supposed to, you get, you get your G major scale, you're supposed to have one sharp in the G major scale, okay? You're working on the sharps, finding all the sharps now, okay? If you, if you don't have two sharps in the D major scale, you're doing something wrong. If you don't have three sharps in your, in your, in your A major scale, you're doing something wrong. If you do have four sharps in your, in your E major, in your next scale, you're doing something wrong, okay? Now, we're taking it in circular. Go five notes up again from your G. Remember from the C, you went five notes up on find G? Remember I teach you that? From the C, you went five notes up, okay? You went like this. Five, right? C, D, D, F, G. And you start, you start your next scale from there, right? So G, you, you, then you learn your G major scale. So you go five up again from G major. Same thing you do like you see. Go five notes up. And find your next scale. Which will be D, okay? Now, it's important that we practice it this way. Circular movement. Because I intend to bring it to a point. Where you go, where you have a, where you have you have all your chords in a circular movement in fifth, so you can learn them and play chords, play notes, play solos and stuff, and where these these chords are related to each other, because each one of these notes are just one note away from each other. C, C and G is just one note different between C and G. G and, and the next note you're learning D is just one note different. You go up a fifth again from D, you go to A between A D and A one note different and so forth and it keep going on okay so let's dive into this d major scale now d major scale remember we dealing with major scales not minor major scale is all major scales okay so so you go from g and go to the fifth note whole note whole note half note whole note okay and take from the d and do the same whole note whole note half note business same whole note whole note half note Whole note, whole note, whole note, half a note. So, so, so D to E is a whole note, okay? In another whole note, remember, 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 in G, you had F sharp. So you have to play that F sharp. If you play F sharp in the first chord before, you must play F sharp in the next chord you're coming up to. Excuse me, whatever chord, whatever sharp you're playing the chord before, is going to come into the next chord after it. You understand? So if you in C you have no sharps and no flat, so you're good to go. In G now you have one sharp. Now if you go from G and you go to you, you're learning D, that one sharp from G is gonna be in D. And you're gonna find the other sharp in D. So D go off two sharps. And when you go from D to A, it will be three it will be two sharps. The one from the G and the one from the D, then you find the one in the A. Okay? You understand? Then you go for then you go to the fourth one. And they say the sharps gonna be always there, and they keep going and going until they get six sharps or whatever amount of sharps you reach. Okay, so we have the first one. We we'll see one o'clock. We we'll see that's what the first one. We we'll see the second one was G. The third one will be D. Right. So the first one was we'll C. The 
second one was was G. The third one now, the third one now could be D. So you're looking to find three sharps. You, you see the sequence? If it's the third one, you're finding three sharps. The first one, I have no sharp with C. The second one, what this, the, the, the second one was G. So you're looking for you had one sharp. Now G to D. No, you're looking for two sharps, okay? You're looking for the next sharp. You don't find a sharp already. There's a next sharp you need to find in this D major scale here. So let's dig into it and find the sharp. How we find it? We use the same technique we use. Whole note, whole note, half a note. Whole note, whole note, whole note, half a note. So again, so D to E is a whole note. E, you need a whole note. You need two whole notes, okay? So you, see, you realize the F sharp coming there? That was, the F, that was your first F sharp coming from your G. Let's come back right in. So you need a half a note now, okay? You need a half a note. So we have two whole notes and a half a note. Right? So F sharp to what is the half a note? F sharp to what is the half a note? The half note after F in the alphabet is what? After F is, after F sharp is G. Okay, remember your alphabetical or Remember your alphabet? So, half a note, whole note, whole note, whole note, half a note from F sharp to G to half a note. Remember, in your chromatic scale, you should write down your chromatic scale so you can see it and take a little keep at it to see if you're making the right, the right notes, okay? So, whole note, whole note, half note. Right? Then from G, you need another whole note. G to A is a whole note, right? G to B is another whole note, okay? What? Right? So, so, one whole note, whole note, half note. Whole note, whole note, whole note, right? Right? So, B, B. So, B, you need another whole note. So B to C is a half note. You need another. You need another whole note right there. Okay. So that another whole note can be you're skipping. You're skipping C. You go to C sharp. There you go find your next sharp. There you go find your next sharp. So take it back again. D whole note. Whole note. Half note. Whole note. Whole note from B. You need a whole note from B. So so it's B C sharp C. Okay. Right? Because you're going B, B, C, C sharp. Because you're going forward, B, C, C sharp. So you miss out the C and it, it think the C sharp. So, or, or simple, or the, or the, the easiest way you, you can think about it, sharp near seventh. Sharp near seventh. So, so you take it up. Take it from, take it from the D. And sharp near seven will be C sharp. After B is C, right? So you sharp near C sharp. Then back to your D. Take where you find your D major scale. Two sharps, two sharps. A sharp. C sharp. So D major scale have two sharps, which is F sharp and C sharp. C major scale have no sharp, no flat. G major scale have one sharp, which is F sharp. D major scale have two sharps, which is F sharp and G sharp. It's very detrimental 